What's up, guys? In this video, I've got a lot of college football picks for you. It is the last true college football Saturday. I would say last week was the last true college football Saturday, but this one's like rivalry weekend where half the teams are checked out, half the teams got nothing to play for. But it's kind of their last game of the season. So hopefully they'll go out with a bang. Hopefully they'll play hard. And I mean, once they're suited up, once they're on the field, they're going to try to do it as good as they can. It's it's hard to handicap emotions on this weekend because a lot of the teams, their season's over. And it, that's one thing that having an expanded college football playoff, like an 18 playoff, I would prefer a 16 team playoff. There's over 150 universities with the football team. Put the top 16 into a tournament because the top 10 teams are still going to be competing hard because they want home field advantage. And then the 25 to, to 10th ranked teams are going to compete hard to get those last six slots. And you give you give home field advantage in the college football playoff the first several rounds. And then the final four bring it together in the big stadiums like they do. It's crazy that they haven't thought of this and that they argue, oh, a playoff will ruin college football. Hey, dipshit, look at the games today. All the games are fucking boring. Nobody's going to watch except for the sports gamblers because none of the games, no one's playing for anything. Even the eighth ranked team in the nation, a top 10 team is playing for nothing pretty much. And the conference titles just don't mean shit if you have two or three losses. They mean something for the undefeated and one loss teams, of course. But hopefully college football will get to a point where we do have a big playoff and the first several rounds of the playoffs, home field advantage. Could you imagine a playoff game at Kyle Field or a playoff game at the Horseshoe? You know what I mean? Like, it'd be fucking dope, dude. And it'd be fun to, to I'd rather place bets on that than the bullshit we have this weekend. Speaking of bullshit, what the fuck? DJ Ulongavale, DJ Ukulele, however you say his name. <clears throat> Silas Bolden. Needed two yards. It's fourth and one. Silas Bolden runs three yards, stops, wide open. You know why he's wide open? Because Oregon is up by 30 points and Oregon's defense is playing prevent. DJ couldn't even hit a wide open receiver for a two yard pass. I wish I had the clip to show you guys if you didn't step and watch it. That would have made me so much money. When you guys see these numbers here, I put down five bucks on most of my plays. I'm sending them out to family members that each put 150 to 200 on them. So there's a lot of money on the line, probably 25 grand. <laughs> like to miss to miss 25 grand by that much is fucking crazy, boys. Okay, let's get into the picks. Right here, <clears throat> Spencer Rattler, Xavier Leggett. If you, oh, this is your first video, you know why we're taking them. This game for South Carolina actually means more than most of their games because this is their whole season. Can we beat Clemson? And they've sucked all year. They've, they're not playing for a bowl game. They're not playing for a championship. They're just playing to beat Clemson for pride. And Spencer Rattler's got one more year left after this. So this will be his second to last time playing Clemson. And Xavier Leggett, this is his last game in college. And it's honestly emotional, guys. I have so many good memories with Xavier Leggett. I'm all in on Leggett today. And if he comes through, I'll make a lot of money. If he doesn't, it is what it is. We've made a ton of money with him this season. And he he's a, he's a fucking SBE Hall of Famer. Let's just put him in the Hall of Fame right now before he plays his final game because that is how much this guy's meant to me. I had a day where I must have made 60 units Everybody was freaking out in the chat. It was all positive vibes. It was like week two or three of college football. You guys remember if you know. I was at my dad's house watching this. And it was just one of the greatest weekends of my life. And if you were with me, you know. But yeah, it sounds crazy to say that. But yeah, man. I mean, I did over $50,000 selling VIP picks that weekend. And it was just Xavier Leggett will always mean something to me. It's fucking weird. He's an actual human, but in my mind, he's just a name on a screen and the green meter moves. So I don't know how he is as a guy. I hope he's a cool dude. I literally have no clue what type of guy he is, but that motherfucker is a great receiver. I know that. <laughs> and then Carson Beck and Dominic Levette. Levette's been with Georgia for a while now, 
and he's their receiver one. Problem is, Beck likes using his tight ends. I'd rather put Bowers here, but you know what? With Bowers kind of banged up, they could win this game pretty easily and pull starters. Well, that's a good play here. So the Georgia-South Carolina stack, there it is. And then this one, I did kind of out of order, but we're going with Baby Tua, and we're going with Jones and Prather. It's always hard to pick which Maryland receivers or tight end to pair with Baby Tua. Uh, but we're taking to his little brother here. We're taking the Maryland stack against Rutgers. It should not give them too much trouble. They should be able to hit their yardage. And then Jaden Daniels, Brian Thomas, Malik Neighbors. This, along with the Oregon double stack, is the best double stack in the game today. They've been absolute money for us the last five weeks or so. And I've said it before on the channel, but LSU is really not playing for much right now. They're going to get a good bowl game and things like that. But they're playing to get Jaden Daniels, the Heisman. And if, if Daniels goes out and has six or seven touchdowns, it's going to be hard not to give it to him. Now, if Bo Nix goes and beats Washington, you got to give it to Bo Nix. But Washington's going to beat Oregon. And everybody thinks Oregon's going to win. Everybody sees their, their pretty Nike uniforms. Oh, Bo Nix, he did it again. Ha What's Bo's? What's Bo Nix's record against Michael Penix? You fucking idiots! You guys just have shiny object syndrome. Syndrome, and I say you guys. Some of y'all are with Washington with me, but everybody loves Oregon. Not so fast, my friend. Michael Penix will end the hype train, and Oregon's losing in Vegas next week. Now, with that said, that opens it up for Jaden Daniels, and LSU knows that. LSU knows that Oregon's not beating Washington. They're going to go out. They're going to put up a shitload of yards. Only thing that I don't like about this game is it's at 11 a.m. So, you know, sometimes the players start slow at 11 a.m. Don't like that. Um, next up, we're going with Levette and Beck. And we're stacking them with Cameron Ward and Josh Kelly. I expect the Washington Huskies to put up points. Jalen McMillan is a question mark coming back from the injury that he suffered against Michigan State like week five of the season. He was back last week, but there was such heavy rain in the Washington game that we don't truly know like how back he is because no one could catch a pass in that game. If McMillan's back, Washington's offense is going to put up 40 points. If Washington puts up 40 points, then Washington State is going to throw the whole game. Washington's defense, it's confusing if you don't understand Washington State and Washington I'll say UW for Washington. So UW's defense is not very good. They don't play very well unless they're playing Oregon. They step it up in big games, but they play up and down to their opponents. So I think Cameron Ward can easily go for 300 yards in this game. If he does, Josh Kelly will get some of those. So it's a good little stack there. Two more picks here. I've got two more six-mans for you guys. We're going with the UCF three-man against Houston. Another early game. We'll see what happens. They've been hitting their numbers, so I'm going to ride the hot hand. Same thing with Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, I believe they need to win this game. I'm pretty sure they need to win this game, or else Oklahoma will jump them and get into the Big 12 championship. So uh, they're going to be playing hard against BYU. Both, all six of these guys have been hitting their numbers the last five weeks. They've been hot, the last two especially, so I like those. And then this is a beautiful one. This is one we're going to end it with. We're going with... Ohio State and LSU, two double stacks. Last year in this game, they had C.J. Stroud, so it was a lot dif different. But these two Ohio State receivers just torched Michigan's defense. I'm hoping it happens again. If it doesn't happen, eh, it's five bucks to win 125. Like I said, I really have like a thousand to win 25,000 on this, and I hope it hits. I hope it hits. All we need to do is hit one of these plays, and we profit today, boys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are the best free picks on the internet. And I also have this one. This was another free pick that I gave out. Um, we have hit Tez, Franklin, and Tua. We just need Jaden Daniels, Neighbors, and Thomas. If you're on Sleeper Fantasy today, I think the way to do it is to build around this LSU double stack here. I think Daniels, 2.5 touchdowns will happen. And then I think Neighbors and Thomas will happen as well. If you need the Sleeper Fantasy app, get it. Use promo code Lambo and then shoot me a text message. Um, I think on Sleeper Fantasy, NFL is easier than college football. 
which is good news because we have a lot of NFL left to play and not so much college football to play. So if you want to get set up on Sleeper Fantasy, what I'm offering is I'm going to send you all of my personal NFL plays. The only way to get them is to get the app, use promo code Lambo, and then shoot me a text message. All day today, I'm going to be watching college football and replying to you guys on my cell phone. I'm going to text you back. I'll thank you for doing it, and then I'll send you all my NFL plays for tomorrow. Now, these are big plays, guys. This is like 200 to win 4,000 type plays. These are 20x bangers. So you're going to want these plays. It's going to be one of those things where we throw down like eight of them, and if one wins, we profit. If two wins, we're way, way, way up. Um, but do these three steps. Get Sleeper Fantasy, use promo code Lambo, and then shoot me a text message right there. I've highlighted my phone number. There it is. Um, shoot me a text message. I'll hook you up with the plays. Good luck today with all of your stuff. And I'll see you guys in the group chat. I'll put a link to join the group chat in the pinned comment of this video. And I'll be in that chat all day. Let's get some money, boys. See ya.